The Boys Brigade of Nigeria condensed a battalion council. Various schools in Kaduna State and other well-meaning Nigerians have called for national prayers, peace and unity as a panacea for sustainable growth and development of the country as one indivisible, formidable Nigeria. They also said that peace is power in diversity, irrespective of religious, cultural differences, ethnicity and religious a regional background as one Nigeria big family of our fatherland. The chairman of the BB Kudensa Battalion Council, Ezra Laden, appealed to all Nigerian youths to abstain from drugs, anything that would tarnish their image and not allow themselves to be used as tools for political violence in the country. Also speaking, the, pa the patron of the Battalion Council Maintain the discipline, loyalty, and self-control as a cardinal aim of the Boys Brigade, saying no nation grows when youths are not trained in the fear of God, good morals, as there will be no peace and unity in the country. Our garden is also a call for a national unity, because if there is no unity, we cannot come, irrespective of our organization, to come together to agree and then to match. So that is alone is also a unity, and we also had a prayer of unity. So we have grown people, we have various forms of training in the Boys Brigade, and that alone have helped our youth not to go wayward from following, doing vices contrary out of uh, God's uh, will. Do we have issue of banditry, kidnapping, stealing, smoking, and the rest? But with uh, members of the Boys Brigade, you highly find them involved in such attitude because the Boys Brigade is a religion and discipline organization. We do not tolerate that. So we have disciplined our boys against such social vices. And also the discipline has helped them in their places of work. It has helped them in the church. It has helped them in the society to avoid or to stay away from trouble. And that has also helped them to gain, uh, to do better once they join any military or paramilitary in terms of uh, their careers. I call upon the youth to stay focused and never allow anybody to use them for any to, to serve as political talks but rather to remember that uh, their religion and their discipline they should also remember that uh, we the youth are the, 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 the strength of the country so they should not allow anybody to destroy the country, use them to destroy the country because if they do, tomorrow they'll be the one to, to suffer it. So I'm calling on the youth to shun violence, to embrace peace and to love one another. Love which is the greatest of all. Once you love your brother, I don't think you have anything to, to fight or to cry about. When I'm calling for, uh, on Nigeria that uh, we should be united. I know there are a lot of things that have happened. We should forgive and then we should be united. For the young ones most especially, to have their attachments to their nation and to have love for their country. That is very interesting and encouraging. Uh, the spirits of patriotism and love for the nation should not die. Uh, as we love our various faiths, we should remember also that it should translate to the love for our country because this is our home place, any other place outside Nigeria, we are only visitors and we eventually have to come back home. Because the society that loses its youth is doomed to fail. That's why all hands must be on deck. That is why even some of us have engaged ourselves in the aspect of training. Uh, because so for us to have a better society in the future, our children need training. And of course, we, our appeal to them is that the Bible says if a man loves instruction, he will prosper. So we want them to develop interest in what they are doing. Let them not see it as if they are only coming to do Boys Brigade for the sake of it, but they are preparing education as a society because if we have men that are reputable, then the country has hope.